for this section we are going to become movie directors to implement the logic we want to implement whereby the page is going to be this same page but we are going to create a different visual on the page that is not going to be seen until somebody clicks on a button so we are going to wear a movie director's hat but first let me take you through the tools that we need to be able to direct this movie correctly so i'm going to open a brand new page then i will go to the view tab and the two tools that we need are bookmarks and selection so when i click on bookmarks you are going to see my bookmarks pane when i click on selection you are going to see my selection pane let me start by describing bookmarks bookmarks are like screenshots of the view of your report page let me minimize the twitter spin a little bit so i can get my uh report canvas to be a little bit bigger so when you take bookmarks shots of your report page you are taking the state or the condition of that report page as at the moment you take the bookmark which we can liken to a screenshot so you can basically now refer back to the screenshot at later time selection pane on the other hand is going to allow you to be able to see all the objects that you have on your report page you can decide to select them you can decide to show and you can decide to hide them as you wish so together with these two and probably adding some buttons on our reports we'll be able to create something interesting so let's start by looking at what how the selection pane works so if i add a start bar chart to this report page you are going to see that it immediately shows up on the selection pane and i can basically rename the charts right but before i rename i'm just going to put something on this my stack bar chart let me add um region and sales into the charts so you see it's showing some of sales by region you can double click and you can rename it right so i can just rename it and say sales by region bar chart then i'm going to create another visual maybe to show sales by category as a column chart so i pick a column chart i pick category and i pick sales then you see it right there as well let me drag it here and rename this as sales by category category column chart so now you see that i have the two items on my report page right and you know on my selection pane i can click on one of them it's going to select it i can click on the other one it's going to select it and you will also see there is an eye just by the side of each of the objects now you can use this eye to control whether the object should show on the page or not show on the page so i can hide this one for example if i hide the other one the two of them are hidden and i can show any one of them at any particular time now let's take a look at bookmarks so bookmarks like i said is going to take a screenshot of your report page based on the states that it is as to when you take the shots and the way to take the bookmarks is very simple just come to the bookmarks pane and click add the moment you click add it is going to take a screenshot of that page exactly as at what it finds there and you can always refer back to that bookmark at any time so if i come to the bookmarks pane now and i click add it would have taken a screenshot of what this page looks like currently it's going to call it bookmark one but i can double click and i can rename it to call it something like uh maybe i'll call it a uh, displaying all visuals okay now i'm going to hide the sales by region and i'm going to click add then i can rename this one and say displaying sales by so displaying sales by category okay then i can decide to show back the sales by region and hide the sales by category right so now sales by region is what i have showing i'm going to come here and i'm going to click add then I'm going to rename this and say displaying sales by region. So now I have three screenshots. Okay. And I can basically revert to the original one where the two of them were showing. But 
if i click on any of this my bookmarks is going to take me back to the shot i took to create the bookmark so i can click on display sales by region and you see that only sales by region will show i can click on displaying sales by category only sales by category will show and if i click on display all visuals then all of them are going to be displayed so this logic is how we are going to implement and design our advanced analysis and exploratory page to allow for two views.